have this thing that's been here for a few years. You can't really see it, but you can feel it. Oh, like man. Way. Like this Is morning. Is it more, like right now it's more inflamed than you? Oh, no, no, it's calm down. are the little areas that it comes out of, the pores that they come Yeah. She's smiling while we're doing this. That's a smile. Okay, you shouldn't feel anything other than us touching. Like I said, let me just show people what she had like two little openings that came that came out of she pointed them out. So I'm trying to make sure we get those two. I'll hold that. Make sure I'm never hurting you. A cyst that's been here for three years. She has one on the other side too. The other side is more in the middle of her cheek, so I told her let's do this one first because you can hide the scar much better kind of close to the crease but and I, I don't know how easy these are going to be to remove actually because they're not very well defined I don't know if the, these might have a high chance of coming back and I know they've been fussed with a little no blame or anything but they, are you, am I hurting you not at all I don't feel anything Good. Which means you're doing well, a good job. Well, you know, we have to numb the top of it, but we can't numb underneath so easily, but I do that afterwards. I just want to make sure, you know, that we're not hurting you to, like, figure out what's going on here. When was the last time you were able to squeeze something out of this? Uh, when I knew I was going to come in Friday. You did the last squeeze? Okay. Then I'm see, like, it leave it alone it. and let's see what it is. See it right there. She's learned. These girls have learned a little more numbing here underneath for me. They're like, they, oh, she would spit at us. Your cyst is a little uppity. She's a little troublemaker. It spit at us. I'm sorry. How rude, huh? Yeah. I was like, I feel like sometimes they're like little pats, like, <laughs> a lot of it out but what color is it purple no it's not <laughs> is it chicken soup chicken uh, broth yeah I guess it could be like yeah like cream of chicken soup <laughs> that's what Krusty here says that it used to smell like right did you say cream of chicken yeah like a canned soup, soup or something yeah like she that. said that when she used to work at you know like a like one of those warehouse places you know like a Sam's or a Costco, when they brought, she said it reminded her of when they, people brought back spoiled soup. Ugh. It just cracked me up how you equate it to food. Well, <laughs> it's like the one was one was beans or rice or something. Oh yeah, frijoles. <laughs> <laughs> what I've been saying all today. Uh, Feliz Cuatro Julio. <laughs> I say that right. <laughs> as long as I don't say a bad word. To get out. See what I mean, girls? It's tough. It's stuck. It's scarred down. She's been squeezing it. Mm hmm. Make sure I'm not hurting you. No, not at all. Oh, I did the side change. There's a problem. I'm just trying to see if we can do that. My first baby came and the doctor wasn't even there. Oh, my. So this oh, is like God. nothing. I was in the hospital. The doctor just took his time. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I'm at, uh, hour well, after I delivered. A lot of times delivered. the nurses are the ones who deliver the baby. She did. Yeah. An hour after I delivered, he came in. He's like, are you sure you're still pregnant? And I'm like, I had the baby an hour ago. Sounds like she was waiting. <laughs> she was hoping. Okay, okay. All right, that was it intact. That's good. It's a cute one, actually. You're okay, right? I'm I'm pushing fine. on. Okay. Just feels like a little tug. Nothing hurts. Okay, good. So what's it, the size of a dime, maybe? Um, I don't know. Let's let you see it in a minute. I haven't stepped back and look at it yet. Just trying to keep it, my grasp on it. So I can grab it without it slipping back underneath. Sometimes I like to slip back underneath. I think this is deceivingly bigger than it, than it looks. Than it looks on the surface, certainly. Because she keeps it in check <laughs> with her squeezings. Not so 
like nipple. Like a clown car. <laughs> it just but one covered. fist, yeah. <laughs> it's okay, though. You're again. You're not in pain or anything. Mm -mm. I can joke with you here because you're, you're, you're one of us. But we're still getting out of that same little sized hole, so that's great. Ooh, look at that. I think we're getting to the end of it, though. Making sure by putting more numbing into there. So what causes this? Well, I kind of say, just to make it, uh, people understand it, is like, you're, like, you're, uh, um, like your skin kind of gets tucked under. So now it's now growing, it's now shedding. You know, our, our skin normally sheds and now it's shedding underneath into like the sac. And that's the issue with it is that when they shed into the sac, then they never really, you know, it's like a Seattle systoma almost, huh? She did say it was like buttery, like chicken soup. Because it has a smooth wall like that. I'm just glad I saw you. That's wow. the hole. That is a Seattle systoma, guys, I think. That's why it looks like this. Hmm? Do things like this run in families? Um, uh, sometimes, kind of. It's just that I thought I was so old to get something like this. I'm sure this is my cyst here. Yeah, I think some of that's a little fat. Some interesting cases today, girls. Might be almost to the bottom of it. Because that part that we popped out, that was definitely cyst content on top. Oh, I feel it here. You can feel the base of it. You can squeeze that and see the base of it. That's the base. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. You got a little, it's like a little, I would make a diamond of the size. That's a nice diamond there for you. <laughs> Gonna have to model it after this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this here. I'm going to take it here with that. Thank you. And with that to hold in place. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to put that across right here. Just lean out the instrument like that. Just because I want to investigate what we took off here. Just to see if we got the bottom of it. Because you feel that you can't put that on that. I don't know if it's like a little hard thing there. So I'm going to cut through it right now. Here, I think it stopped up here, but... And you know what? This might just all be scar tissue. See, it's like very rubbery. So I had a rubber ball in there? Yeah, you did. It seriously, oh, really? It's very like rubbery. Um, How strange. But it doesn't look like, I don't know, if I don't think that's the system. You know how sometimes when you numb up an area, it just gets waterlogged, so like the 
fluid is really thin, that's all. I'm just trying to make sure we don't take off more than here. If I'm going to tilt that just that way, I just want to bug that maybe. Just in case. Oh, numbing here. Buzzing noise. Just make sure it doesn't touch the metal. Like, like, yeah. okay. Is that to stop the bleeding? Yeah, just the oozing a little bit in case. I want to ooze. That we're having a barbecue. I feel that too. <laughs> You know, we take a lot of, we do a lot of skin cancers in this area. We don't see like a lot of that fibrous tissue there, you know. Well, it feels better though, overall. If you feel it, it feels flat. Mm -hmm. I can feel it feels better. Oh, whatever. <laughs> That's what people say. I don't feel the pressure on numb. there. You're numb. You don't feel anything there. Maybe that's why. Yeah. But it still feels good. It feels better. <laughs> really? People say that? <laughs> yeah. Actually, we had somebody the other day that, that said she felt something, and I was like, girl, you don't feel anything. It's numb. She's like, I think I feel the cyst is still there. I'm like, no. I think she just wanted the cyst to be, like she was afraid it was gonna come back already. And I was like, no, you can't feel it because you're numb there, you can't feel anything. Didn't make sense. But see how the mind plays a crazy game on us. No, oh, this is true. That's what it does. So the stitches, I come back to have them yeah, taken out? Yeah, yes. Okay. Or, or if you have somebody who can take them out for you, they're, or you can probably take it out yourself. It's just a top stitch that's really delicate. Um, I'm going to keep your mouth closed just for a minute because I have some suture dragging across this area. Now, I know you tend to kind of rub at things or scratch at things. Try to minimize your rubbing at a scar line that heals because it'll, you know how your, your area got firm, you know, mm -hmm. because you kind of rub at it a little bit, it thickens the skin. I won't touch it. Yeah, we just want to minimize. I will line. leave it alone. Yeah, I know you will. So now you won't have that bump there anymore. That'll help. My little friend is gone. Yes. Day I know you're one. a little sad. <laughs> So how long do the stitches stay in for? These stay in for I'm gonna come this way because it's for uh, seven days. Okay. No later than that. Cause do you live? Oh yeah, you do. You do. You live relatively close, so you mm -hmm. can come, but you can probably do it yourself. It's up to you. Okay. We're happy to do it if you need to, but obviously we want to save you a trip because it won't be a long trip. Almost finished the chapter. So, do you think you'll want to do the other side or no? Um, I think so. But what I would love to do first is just make sure. I got this one all because this one was a little bit, I think that was scar tissue, but I mean, I'm going to send this in, so I'm going to want to look at it first. Okay. So let's wait until I'm happy to do it. Like, I, I think I think we probably will do it, but I, I want to make sure that this okay. is what I think it is, you know? Okay. Like, I don't think it's anything bad, okay. but I want to make sure it's nothing that, you know. Here, when it, if you want, I'm going to cover this, but you can bring your finger up. She's so cute. Bring your, <laughs> hand, your right hand up, and you can feel that it's flat there. 
Oh, God. God. Yeah, it feels nice and flat. Oh, oh man. Okay, good, good. You guys good. are wonderful. Oh, you're wonderful. Oh, Thank you. Happy birthday to yes. me. Yes. <laughs> She's gonna put a little bandage on you. Okay. See, other than him, trick to the Jeff for a little bit. Okay. Ooh. Okay, here, take a look. Oops. That won't help you take a look. Be careful here. You don't talk too much because we're supposed to technically oh. be, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Whoa. Can I just fling the suture? Well, here, let me show you. This is the, this is the uh, cyst here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, you're not done yet, so don't don't get up, get up. And See, there's a cyst here. See the sac there? Yeah. But it was really superficial, and then he had all this stuff under here that was... I cut through it, but it was very hard. So is that one sack or two? It's no, one. this is one sack, but see, all this is not really a sack. It's like really hard. If you were to, you can touch it because it's your own person. See how it's like rubbery? What the heck? Yeah, exactly. So I think it's scar, but like, so I think the sack wasn't that big, but you've been squeezing on like a firm area. So we tried to get all that off, but you know, I want to not have that happen again. And I think it's from rubbing it, but we're going to send that in. Okay, lie back down. Yeah, it's crazy. Lie back down because I don't mind that. Oh, okay. Yes, you still have suture stuff, yeah.